Hello, welcome to Conversations. This is my Thanksgiving edition of my podcast, and um, it's with my mom, so I hope you enjoy it. I love having her on my podcast. I hope you and your family or you and your friends, whoever you're spending time with, or if you're spending time alone, I hope that you have a wonderful holiday. I hope you are thankful for so much. We have a lot that we have to be grateful for and for people that we see struggling throughout our lives and in the world, we should all definitely say some prayers and hope that things get better for them. So I hope you enjoy the podcast. At the very end, my mom said, I love you. And I did not hear it until I went to edit the podcast and I felt terrible that I didn't say it back. So mom, I know you're listening. I love you. Okay. Thanks guys. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? I certainly can. Well, well wonderful. <laughs> How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. prepping for Thanksgiving. Yeah, so we are celebrating our Thanksgiving in just two days, two more days. We never celebrate on the actual day because it's too hard to get people together. So I wonder if other families do the same thing, probably. Well, when, with the families enlarging, as they all do, um, yeah, you have to make exceptions. Yeah, if you want everybody to be able to be there and be together and not be running around. And that's um, the important part. Right, yeah, that's all that matters. Um, so, hello, Mother. Uh, to, to everyone that's listening, this is my mom. I'm so excited to have my mom on. She is um, always willing to play in my little reindeer games and... One of my favorite guests. So we'll be doing our Christmas one here soon. And if you missed that, go back and listen to it because it was such a funny, fun episode. And speaking of that, okay, so, well, first of all, we're going to do some trivia and some jokes. And you have some for me too, right? I do. I do. I've been, I wrote them down. If I can read, I put my glasses on. So <laughs> hopefully I can read them, read my own handwriting. Yeah. Well, the reason why I was like segueing into that is because I read this when I was going through the facts that Jingle Bells was originally supposed to be a Thanksgiving Day song. Did you what know that? It? What is that it? Jingle Bells. Oh, I thought you said Kinkle Bells. And I thought, I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> You're not drinking, are you? <laughs> I, I, I did make myself a little drink. <laughs> oh my God. We're going to say that it's 5 p.m. for that's when we're recording this. Sounds um, like a plan. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that was one of the things that I read. Jingle Bells was originally a Thanksgiving Day song. Before becoming a Christmas holiday anthem, Jingle Bells was an 1857 song titled One Horse Open Sleigh. And its composer, James Pierpont, P I E R P O N T whatever, intended it to be a Thanksgiving Day song, but it became so popular around December 25th that in 1859, the title was changed to Jingle Bells and the rest is history. Well, you know, there really aren't any Thanksgiving songs. The only one that comes to mind is Marie Chevalier's Thank Heavens for Little Girls, which has nothing to do with Thanksgiving, but it's a thankful song. <laughs> going somewhere with that <laughs> oh, it's just a song about thanks there's probably a lot of songs like thank you for being a friend there's uh, lots of songs with that. <laughs> mom <laughs> Jeez, i thought well, thank heaven for little girls that eat too much on thanksgiving or something i thought that you were going somewhere with that okay so we're gonna have some fun facts some okay. jokes um uh, the, I tried to pick out the jokes that were just the least of the corniest because they were all pretty corny. But this is for families. I want kids to be able to listen sure. to. So, um, yeah, so there's some corny ones in there. But so, yeah, that Jingle Bells one was my first fun fact. Um, there was another one that completely blew my mind. Let me find it. Mom, do you have any idea what wasn't part of the first Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Like a float, you mean, or a balloon, or what wasn't? Well, it, you basically said it. Balloons. Balloons, Balloons. were never, they were not a part. I was going to say Santa next. Okay. Okay, so it says, if you can't imagine the Macy's 
Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade without a giant float featuring your favorite characters, you'd barely recognize the first parade in the early 1920s. It did have puppets riding the iconic floats as well as singers and celebrities and of course Santa Claus. That said, when the Thanksgiving Parade made its big debut in 1924, it had something that might be even crazier than balloons animals from the central park zoo oh my goodness well Mom, that could to... be like lions <laughs> well they probably had to grasp for any kind of talent they had <laughs> i wonder what made them stop with the uh animals i'm sure there were some injuries maybe that's why they went to balloons <laughs> maybe it was not successful they weren't dealing with the helium shortage apparently but yeah i couldn't believe that animals from the zoo Okay, um, we'll segue to a joke. What do sweet potatoes wear to bed? Oh my gosh. Sugar jammies? I don't know. Yammies. Yammies. Oh, how cute. <laughs> <laughs> how strong is the drink? Oh, I am going to make a special drink um, on Thanksgiving. And if you're a regular listener, you know that I gave up drinking. That's why I think it's so funny that I'm going to be bringing the signature drink. But it's something that I had in a restaurant the night before I decided to quit drinking. And it was like the best drink I've ever had. And so it was a good thing to close on. But it's like... Uh, smoked pecan whiskey and then it's poured over um, smashed up peaches and blueberries and it's got raw sugar in it. Delish. I cannot wait to make it for everybody on Sunday. I hope everybody likes it. Is that hard to find smoked pecan whiskey? I've never heard of such a thing. Well, it was a certain brand and then I just looked it up and you can find it at Wally World and uh, everywhere else. Yeah, it sounded like it was easy to find. I'll let you know. <laughs> If I don't bring it on Sunday, then yes, it was hard to find. Um, okay, let's. What about you, Mom? Give me a fact. Okay. Uh, what what music did pilgrims listen to? Music, like right from the beginning in the beginning. Yes. Well, Indians doing their chants. Plymouth Rock. Oh, it's a joke. I thought. <laughs> See, I'm going to catch you off guard. <laughs> I thought this was trivia. I didn't think it was a joke. Okay, <laughs> it Plymouth wasn't, Rock. It wasn't. That was true. Oh, was it? Okay. Yep. The Plymouth Rock Band. Okay. Very good, Mom. Um, which city's Thanksgiving Day Parade ends with Santa Claus getting a key to the city? Hmm. I, hmm. Um, I'm going to just say Boston. I have no idea. Uh, it's Detroit. The Detroit because. Thanksgiving Day Parade has been an annual tradition since 1924, the same year the Macy's Day Parade began in New York City. According to the Detroit Historical Society, the two-mile parade, which was started by Hudson Department Store, takes place on Woodward Avenue and ends with Santa Claus stepping off the final float in front of Hudson's to accept the key to both the city and the hearts of good children everywhere. How cute. Uh, what year did that, I mean, was that before or after the Macy's parade started? I just wondered if it was a... Uh... Let's rewind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make things as difficult as possible. It's been an annual tradition since 1924, the same year the Macy's Day Parade began okay. in New okay. York City. <laughs> so it wasn't, oh, I'm sorry. I was trying to listen. To, I, I don't know. I was thinking ahead. All right. Well, <laughs> so it wasn't a copycat. Detroit wasn't a copycat. No. They were both had the same idea at the same time. That's it. Good enough. Um, let's see. How many turkeys do Americans prepare each Thanksgiving? Wow. I don't even know how many Americans are. Um, I'll say two million. Uh, let's let's try one more guess and go higher. It's under a hundred million. Okay. Uh 78 million 46 thanksgiving okay, well, without I, not <laughs> good either direction <laughs> um thanksgiving without turkey would be like christmas without a tree and most american families wouldn't dream of foregoing it 
Um, while not super popular the rest of the year, turkey is a huge hit for holidays, probably because it can serve large gatherings. On Christmas, an additional 22 million families host an encore with their Thanksgiving turkey recipes. How many grams of fat does the typical American eat on Thanksgiving? Wait, do you want to guess that or do you want to guess the calories? I know the calories because I have that question to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, people will want to know the answer, so I won't. I won't give it away. Let's do fat then. Okay. How many, How many grams of fat? Oh my gosh! Does a typical American eat on Thanksgiving? Fifty. Fifty grams. Two hundred and twenty-nine. Whoa! And probably yeah. a lot of that is from butter. Yeah, probably. I would assume you've got to have butter there. Oh yeah. Um, it says that's three to four times more than the amount of fat you should eat in a day well everything is good on thanksgiving and it's all too much you know you just you have to indulge once in a while right right so according to americans what's the best part of thanksgiving the dressing oh that's my favorite um uh, leftovers oh definitely yeah definitely so Fans of the beloved turkey, stuffing, and mashed potato leftover sandwich, you're in the majority. Most Americans prefer Thanksgiving leftovers to the actual meal. Almost 8 in 10 Americans agree that second helpings of stuffing, mashed potatoes, and of course pie beat out the big dinner itself. So that was what they found in a in a study. I do like, I like the leftovers, but stuffing is my favorite. Which, what part's your favorite? Stuffing. And I saw on the Food Network a couple years ago were these two college age guys, they made a stuffing um, waffle and they mm -hmm. took stuffing and used that instead of like pancake batter or waffle batter and then put turkey, mashed potatoes, cranberries, and then smushed it together in a turkey, I mean, in a stuffing waffle. Mm -hmm. And then topped it with gravy. I thought that sounds that caused me to go get a um, waffle, waffle maker. Here. Did you get one? Yes. Did you try it? No. Because <laughs> I didn't have any. I didn't have any stuffing by that time. <laughs> you know, you can buy like stovetop. I do love stovetop. I know it's like on the list of one of the worst foods you can eat. Seriously, stovetop is. But it's that, good. It is. It's delicious. You gotta live. You gotta live too. That's right. Um, here's a joke. Okay. Why did the cranberries turn red? Hmm. Um, I, I have no clue. I'm sorry. I have no clue. <laughs> because they saw the turkey dressing. <laughs> Put on palm. Ding. That's what, it's a joke. <laughs> oh, let's do another joke. Which side of the turkey has the most feathers? Well, isn't it even on both sides? The outside. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. But are you drinking eggnog or what are you having? Yes. Oh, okay. With some whiskey? Well, a little bit of rum. Oh, yum. Is that usually what people put in when they doctor them up? Is it rum or is it whiskey? Um, brandy or whiskey. I think it's anything goes, but oh. it's most of those dark colored ones. Okay. Uh, what is the busiest day of the year for plumbers? Oh, what? well, maybe the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah, you're right. Black Friday. Isn't that disgusting? <laughs> it is, certainly is. I never, that never, ever, ever came to my mind. <laughs> yeah. It says, thanks to all the food that we gobble up on Thanksgiving and house guests oh. and house guests stressing out the public uh, plumbing system and the kitchen drains, garbage disposals, and yes, toilets require more attention the day after Thanksgiving than any other day. Oh my gosh, that is disgusting. Yeah, but I mean, there's a lot of people I know that don't even use their garbage disposal. They put all of their leftover junk or whatever in the trash and just throw out the trash, but isn't that what the garbage disposal is for? Well, you know, um... I've been doing that for the last several years, just not putting anything down the garbage disposal just because of where we live and the 
short length of the sewer line. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, that's what a garbage disposal is for, but yeah, I don't want to take the chance. Yeah, I mean, I know that there's things that are bad for you to sh shove a bunch of stuff down the garbage right. disposal, but yeah, I thought like that's potato what... potato peelings and celery. Mm-hmm. Those are not good. Hmm. I'm not a plumber, but I've heard uh, from a plumber because I was a victim of those stupid antics. Right. Um, okay, so you knew that Butterball has a turkey talk hotline. Yes, I've heard that. Never okay, they've, used it, yeah, but. they've had it for 40 years. And how many people do you think call that a day or on uh, th Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. Uh, uh, I would guess in the millions. I forget how many. Yeah, I would say probably 20 million. 100,000. Okay, well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way off on that. Okay, since you're talking about the millions, I'm going to give you another chance here. How many people go shopping on Black Friday? Hmm. Well, okay. Um, off, off. <laughs> Mom, it's between 30 and 40 million. Okay, I'll say 35 million. Well, I was, I get, I'm thinking too hard about this because I thought, well, there's probably not as many people that shop in uh, brick and mortar stores anymore since COVID and yeah. online shopping. But okay, I'll go with 35 million. Yeah, um, right now it's 32, but I don't know exactly when they took that. I am sure you're right. You know, now with Amazon and everything, and people can just they just can shop in their pajamas while they're eating their leftover leftovers. <laughs> their stuffing waffle. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is uh, what balloon has made the most appearances in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade? Which um, balloon? I'm in a. I'm torn between Turkey and uh, Mickey Mouse. It's Snoopy. <gasps> really? Carrie yeah. Would love that. Yes. Forty four years. Wow. It's been in the parade. Yes. Um. Let's see. Find another one. Okay, I've got one for you. Oh, yeah. Okay, is pumpkin a fruit or a vegetable? Is this a joke or what no, is this? No, this is real. This is trivia. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of something I'm going to get to after this. Okay, uh, a pumpkin is a uh, fruit. You are so correct. Yeah, because it's got seeds. Oh, I didn't know that was a criteria. Yeah, because even avocado is a fruit. If it can huh. grow with a seed, I think I'm almost positive. Well, it could be, could be. Shoot, what what did you say before that that it was a joke? <laughs> and I said, wait. Oh no, I had something I was gonna. Okay, it'll come to me. Um, do turkeys actually gobble? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Only the male ones. Okay. Only male turkeys gobble. That's, That's kind of like roosters. They're the ones that crow. No. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Well, I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> well, so our people wasn't. are not going to rely on this information at all. <laughs> They're just going to have to go Google and be like, well, I heard it on a podcast, but they were drinking and I don't think they knew. <laughs> what do you call a running turkey? Um, scared. Fast food. <laughs> <laughs> You're the easiest audience. Um, what's the difference between a turkey and a chicken? Um, turkeys have a lot more feathers. Chickens celebrate Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> well, they don't, Mom. It's not real. <laughs> God. They're having a party. All right. This is going to be my last one. What's the best song to play while cooking a turkey? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I can't guess. All about that baste. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm all about that baste, about the baste. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, if my kids heard me say that, they they would die. Okay, I think that's pretty much it as far as any of the facts that I thought were interesting. Uh, okay, I have a fact. Is it really? Uh, yes, I'm assuming it said facts. Okay. All right. How fast 
can a wild turkey fly? How fast can a... Turkeys can't fly. Well, they must. <laughs> a wild turkey. A wild turkey. Not a... Not a, <laughs> wild not a, not a, <laughs> a wild turkey. How fast can it fly? It can fly a mile an hour. 55 miles an hour. Okay, Mom, remember That's WKRP? <laughs> I thought turkeys as, could fly. As God is my witness, I thought turkeys could fly. Yeah. Maybe they weren't the wild ones. <laughs> I am afraid. We are going to have to Google search this. I will have an update. I thought you said you had a question for me about the calories. How many? Oh, yes, I did. How many calories in the average Thanksgiving dinner? Well, I've heard different numbers. Um, and it probably depends on if you go back and eat seconds. So this is where, just where you eat, you know, if, if somebody's trying to cut out the calories before you get there. Uh, let's say 3000. Well, you're pretty close. 35 to 4,500 calories. Yikes. You know, that probably depends too on if you're drinking, you know, if people, if you're going to have like a couple of cocktails, eggnog or, or all that, you know, and snacks beforehand and right if, how um, much butter you put on your potatoes and rolls and so stuffing is your favorite yes um do you have a certain memory that pops up when you think about thanksgiving i do um as my sister came to the front door many years ago and she had a scarf around her head and her sweat which sister susie okay and looking uh, forlorn and I was all <laughs> dressed up and you know had my turkey in the oven and just waiting for the kids all the kids to come out and she said do you have a, a roaster because her power had, her, her stove had gone out and she was having her in-laws over for dinner oh my and gosh was just a mental wreck and <laughs> She looked at me when I answered the door because I was all dressed up in a long skirt and everything. It was the 70s. And she <laughs> said, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was back before they did like rotisserie chicken or you could just run to any store. You know, they didn't have. And she, the... Well, she was cooking for her in-laws, you know, and, and her oven went out. So, yeah, she was a mess. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that would definitely... That sounds like something that would happen to me. Um, <laughs> it does. Yeah. And is Thanksgiving your favorite holiday? It is. Um, because there's... It's just all about family and food and just being together. Um, no gifts. No... I don't know. Uh, not like spectacular or anything. You know, it's just... Just being with family. Yeah. Spooktacular is a holiday that my mom invented for those listeners that have no idea what that is. Um, <laughs> and it's just where it's like a Halloween dress up costume party and we play games and stuff. But she uh, came up with it when my kids were little and just kind of to entertain them. And then it just snowballed and it has gone strong now for what, probably 20, 25 I would guess 25 years. Yeah, so fun. We always have our, well, yeah, we have our picture on the porch of all of us dressed up and nobody knows what anybody's going to be and it's super fun. But so, yeah, we're going to have Thanksgiving in just a couple of days. Um, what's also, your favorite, what's your favorite holiday, Dawn? Halloween. Oh, that's true. You should know that. You're my mom. Just kidding. Okay. Um, my favorite part of Thanksgiving, though, besides the stuffing, is the dog show. They never used to do that, but now the dog show comes on right after the parade, and I love mm -hmm. watching it and seeing what the, all the cute little dogs and who wins and all that stuff. That's always fun. Everybody likes watching the little doggies. Before they invented um, the bags, cooking bags for the turkey, I used to get up very early in the morning. Well, it was dark out yet, and I'd make myself some coffee and make the stuffing, you know, and everything, and get the turkey in the oven. And... Um, I miss that, that a long time, you know, just enjoying the holiday. Well, that doesn't even sound right, enjoying the holiday without it. <laughs> but, By you know, yourself. Just, 
just preparing it, just getting ready for the day. Yeah, getting so. ready to pamper your family because you're always yeah. the hostess and the best cook ever. And you always just like making it all homemade and everything's just, you can tell there's love put in all the food. You can, not even to be yeah. corny. You can tell. Yeah, the, but it, you know, and then you kids would just gradually come down the hallway. I can smell the turkey cooking, you know, and wake up and then watch the parade. So it, those were good days. Yeah, they were. I'm glad the parade's still going strong. I hope it, it means as much for little kids nowadays as it did when we were little. I just always thought it was so fun and it was always so exciting to see Santa at the end. And yeah, lots of memories. Um, yeah. Makes yeah. it fun if you if you in, introduce your kids to it and show you, that you're excited about it. They'll they'll get it. Yeah, all those traditions. Um, yeah. So, what are you most thankful for? Um, obvious. I mean, most thankful for my family. I love 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 my family, and it's expanding thanks to your kids. <laughs> um, and that is, I love my family. I'm thankful for my faith, uh, my good health, and just all the memories we create throughout the year. It's all about family. Yeah, and we're so blessed and fortunate to have everybody here in town, you know, because a lot of people live away from their families and they have to get on planes. I mean, you know, immediate family. They have to yes. get on planes to see their families or take long car road trips and, um, it's it's a lot easier for us because we all just live in different parts of town but within 20 minutes away from each other so we're really lucky and oh gosh so many things i'm grateful for you and for my siblings and their families and my kids nathan grandkids we've got two now and one more coming before christmas so three grandkids and cookie i love cookie yeah. my dog and yes um in my job, I've gotten to meet some really neat elderly people that really help put things in perspective, what they've lived through and what's important. And um, I'm grateful for my podcast, as silly as it seems. I've just met so many neat people and um, learned a lot. So I've it's not really... Silly. It's not silly, Don. It's been a great joy to you. Yeah. Well, and you listened to all of them. Did you listen to mine today? No, but I'm going to do that right after. <laughs> I should have quizzed you on it just to hear you. <laughs> Listen to me squirm. Yeah. No, and in all seriousness, mom, like my mom is devout Catholic and I have done all kinds of podcast episodes about psychics and tarot cards and all that stuff. And mom, thank you for listening. Cause I know it's not really in your lane, but you still listen just to support me and you give me my feedback and, or your feedback. And so I do appreciate that. It's nice oh. to have you as a, a fan. I am your biggest fan. <laughs> well, thanks so much for doing this mom. You didn't think we'd be able to do a half an hour and we're right on it. You did we a half are. an hour, yes. Well, we're both pretty chatty. It yes. was all those. It was all those trivia and the and the uh, jokes. Yeah. Well, and then we're gonna do our Christmas one in just a couple of weeks. Wow. So, um, you don't have to continue to drink for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh darn. <laughs> we'll wait a couple of weeks, and um, yeah, that one was so fun. So we'll ha definitely have to come up with a part two for that one. Um, everybody enjoyed it a ton. So I'm looking forward to it already. And I'm Look looking forward, forward to, to Sunday, Mom. I am too. I I can't wait. I just can't wait to just all the hugs and just take in all the love. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. All right, Mom. Thanks a lot for being on the show. And love I'll, you, Dawn. I'll talk to you later. Okay. All bye right. Bye. bye.